Is it okay? Can you hear my voice now? Okay. I am a lean expert who lives in a world full of waste. Most business processes are 90% waste and 10% value added work. Can you imagine? We can look at lean as a way of thinking that combines people and processes to create high performance organization. Also, lean targets cost reduction through the elimination of waste and full utilization of workers' capabilities. Today I will talk about the second principle of the Toyota way, create continuous flow to bring problems to the surface. Flow is at the heart of lean message that will lead to best quality, lowest cost, shortest delivery time. Flow also is connected to full system and JDOCA. Continuous flow helps moving materials and information fast. Also linking processes and people together so that problems surface right away. Tact time is a German word that means rhythm or meter. It can be used to set a pace of work to alert workers whenever they get ahead or behind. In manufacturing, it's relatively easy to see the product flowing along the production line. So, it's reasonably easy to identify processes, main steps, and constraints. In construction, information and resources flow towards and around the product in a form of sketches, concepts, and schedules, instructions, and so on. Once on site, the product is static and the resources are flowing around it. There are seven flows in construction. People, information, equipment, materials, prior work, safe external conditions, and safe space. Variation is frequently the result of misalignment in the timing and flow of information, people, materials, and activities. So that's why continuous flow is important. Think wisely. Every time a task is divided into two subtasks executed by different specialists, a non value added activities increase. It is vital that we manage stages holistically until the question is how value and flow can be achieved through that work. In short, it is doing the right thing in the right way at the right time. I always search for areas where people and processes are disconnected while materials stagnate. Then find creative ways to increase the flow and connect processes better. This leads to the implementation of technical solutions as well as the development of social systems to make them effective. Therefore, understanding lean as a wider socio-technical system. For sure, there are attempts to involve BIM to achieve flow, like supplementing Lost Planner system in a daily manner with the help of the 3D model and using Kanban cards and add-on alerts that give a real-time feedback to manage construction projects. There are various examples. Anyways, construction problems will not be similar and will not come to an end. Always use creativity to maintain flow. That's my advice to you.